Okay, this is uh, going to be a making of, you know, behind the scenes. First one I'm here back in Virginia. I put, oh, you see, I got a new, uh, got a new uh, tripod, a new a thingy there, right? And then, well, I got the brace, the brace on there that holds the uh, thing already. So let me put it all together. Hey, maybe I should do that. That'd be a good idea. In case you haven't been here, what I do is I'm, I record my Instagram because when we first started doing my YouTube channel, the reason I did my YouTube channel was for, was for well, well, archival purposes, but it was like an audio memoir of what I'm doing in my life because uh, well, that's what I, my YouTube channel was for. Okay, that's why I don't, I don't, I don't have, I don't ask for subscribers or likes or nothing like that. Um, it's for archival purposes only. All right, let me see, get this thing straight. Okay, so what I do, see the flag there. I mean, I, I gotta fix that, I gotta change that around some other way. Uh, and so this, so what happened was um, when COVID hit, I started Instagram. And so what's happening, uh, a lot of my Instagram was basically replacing what I was doing on, oh, I gotta light this thing up, hold on a second. The uh, Instagram uh, basically is take, took place in my YouTube as far as me audio recording my memoir, whatever, you know what I'm saying, like that. So, but then, but, but Instagram, but what happened with my YouTube channel, what happens is it oh, goes up on YouTube and that's archival. That's I start my YouTube for archival purposes. So that happened. But then I realized if I'm doing it on Instagram, but Instagram doesn't um, archive the way YouTube does. And plus with my YouTube channels, Oh man, this dirt is hard. Hard dirt. Um, yeah, that's good. Gotta have, always have your instant good. Incense, you know, clears out stuff. Yeah, right it came from North Africa. Okay, put the, I put everything back right away. And so, what happens is my YouTube, it automatically, what I do on YouTube, automatically goes to my bit shoot. So I basically have two places that uh, them archive and stuff. But because um, the Instagram doesn't go to either one of them, what I started to do is basically um, record me doing an Instagram, which then would record, the, then that would be archived. You see how that works? Oh man, and the boy's a genius sometimes. Okay, so what else happened? I found my water, you just, now this is strange because I knew Colonel Western Sugar, total then then later on, contains coconut distributed by C2 Coconut Water LLC, Long Beach, California. It's th this coconut doesn't come from California, I don't think. Refrigerate in uh, five days. I thought I knew, I thought I saw this thing come from. Where does it come from? Where did the coconuts come from? They ain't got these coconuts in California, I don't think. FSC, what is this? Mix, mix board. I gotta find out where this, if I go non-GMO, maybe this is coconut water from California. But this is the one I, I like this a lot. I don't like Philippine coconut water. So anyway, uh, so so that's what's happened. So to to make sure I archive what I put up on my Instagram, I uh, do behind the scenes. Yeah, this is the coconut water I like. But what 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 country is this from? Because I, oh, because I really absolutely don't like the um, coconut water ingredients. Coconut water. Less than one percent sugar. I don't like the coconut water that comes from the Philippines at all. Oh. Brazil's all right. I like Vietnam. Maybe this was one from Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam is, is good. Uh, Thailand is good. Uh, I say Brazil. Brazil's all right. Puerto Rico was good. I don't know what. There's some old incense I had up there. Sometimes I leave stuff here, be gone, whatever, and they come back, they stay. You know, it's just stay here. This is a, oh, citronella. Keep the mosquitoes away. Well, I haven't used this one yet. This, okay, no mosquitoes out here now. Okay, so that's what I do. So now, so I have to set up. So I got that, but I set up for my Instagram with this tripod. Uh, Menfort, Menfortro. 
think this is Italian or something like that. That's this thing. And this other thing, thing up here is, is jellyfish or something like that. So it's two different things. And I, so I put my uh, one plus seven on this thing because this is the one actually for this machine. This is what I have the, uh, what do you call that? The, my Instagram main account or whatever it is. But the one plus seven always has a really good camera. That's what I like about it. This one plus six gives you that quality like behind the scenes. It's, it's, poor, it's funky, you know, it's funky. You're not supposed to, you know, whatever. Ah, oh, boy, coconut water is so good. So I get that all set up, and then I, then when I'm talking to the thing, then that sort of records on that, then I put that on my, this this recording goes on my YouTube, and this, of course, goes up to uh, Instagram. So I got from my glasses. My, my YouTube, I have formal, I have formal things that I do. <laughs> and the other thing, my intro, uh, you know, I, usually what I'm doing for just YouTube, I say my my nom de vouch, my nom de vouch. You know, you know, you've heard of nom de plume. You know, like your, your, your alternate name uh, when you write. But my nom de vouch, it's French. Can I tell you? Uh, is, uh, is, is, is the voice. It's like the other one, nom de plume, is like whatever, not my, I guess, nom de plume, not my writing, or uh, whatever it translates to. But the voce places the plume, and so the, you get what I'm saying. Uh, but I usually do it at the end for um, um, my uh, nom de voce at the end when I do YouTube, but I, but I do it at the beginning for, um, for the, I'm looking at 5150 right now, I do the beginning for the, the uh, Instagram. But since now what I do the, the behind the scenes, since I do it on the Instagram, then I don't say it at all now at the end. You see, as long as it's on there someplace or anything. So I got to get this ready. I've been listening to 5150 as usual. 5150, Corey Holcomb, 5150. Uh, see, 5150. Uh, if you if you if you ain't hit well, I, I I listen to certain things like see I'm the kind of person I hang out with the intellectuals and I hang out with the street peoples. Then the Corey Corey is very smart. I mean he's smarter people. He is he is a, he is very smart and he's a great communicator. People don't realize whatever it is. I mean he, I mean I'm bowled over sometimes. I'm not gonna talk about the rest of the show, and I'm, but I'm just saying that that's that's, that's what he is. Okay, so now. I right, get rid of the fifty-one fifty. That was on the brave, so I don't get those commercials in the middle. Uh, and so, like, I listen to fifty-one fifty. Uh, of course, Mister, that's once a week. It comes on Tuesday nights, but I, I listen to it later. You know, whatever. I walk. I just finished walking outside. So just finished taking my walk, which is like two hours. You know, fifty-one fifty is two hours, right? I'm just getting back, so I just do the two hours thing. I do my just around the uh, cemetery one, blah, 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 whatever it is. A little bit of exercise, not a whole lot. Um, and uh, so that, well, that's what I do. So I, so I listen to that. And then, of course, I listen to Miss Neely Fuller Jr. every every Tuesday. Oh, he was great this last Tuesday. It was just great. I was on there this last Tuesday, you know. Gave him a suggestion. Just a suggestion. Because, you know, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., no matter what he says, still learning what he said, he's still an old man set in his ways. I'm just telling you, right? Hey, nobody can jump on me, right? Uh, so I suggested that because he's, you know, he, has, he, he does his book, The Compensatory Concept, you know, and we use it. But I have the the original 1985 published one, and that's in um, back there in Dimbaza. But I use this scripture. I use it as, as, as a book for scripture. That's my scripture instead of these other scripture books that people have used that uh, once a week. I do that this uh, Saturday, so no, Sunday sermons. That I, um, you, you, every Sunday, if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see a Sunday sermon. And now I'm getting more involved, more you know, bring just like a preacher would take a, a thing and then go expand on it. That's what I'm gonna start starting to do with the um, with the Sunday sermons. Um, anyway, um, so I listened to that. Um, so it's it 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 strange enough they both come on on no no yeah they both come on on Tuesdays because Miss Nelly Fuller Jr.'s compens well his his broadcast now compensatory concept it comes on on uh, on, on Tuesday mornings. And Corey comes on Tuesday nights, but I get them both later. You know, I will download the um, um, the one for um, uh, I'm getting brain fog. Just came from all this traveling. Uh, I, I download the Miss Neely Fuller Jr. Right, but I I, I 
I later, because we have free internet, when I go overseas, and I probably will have to download the Corey or see what happens, because now it's, it's expensive, you know, to do the internet overseas. So anyway, so so that's that's my two main ones, but there's other ones that I that I look at. Uh, it's, it's, it's like I look at some uh, really heavy heavy stuff, or whatever you know, like that. I I actually like um, you know I've been looking lately um, um, uh, the Pat McAfee show, you know the football guy, and the reason why I like them is because they I've got to they have the best switches. Switcher is a, a, a oh by the way I have a degree in. And communications, well, and the focus when I did uh, was a double major, but the degree in communications, the focus was uh, television production and and uh, video, video editing, whatever it is. Uh, so I know all about all that. I know a lot about everything in communications I've done. Let's put it that way. But but uh, a, sw a switcher is a person that basically when you, they have the cameras on people and the switcher, the director's there and the director's telling the switcher what to do. You know, camera six, whatever it is, you know, camera three, and the switcher then switches to that to that camera, right? But Pack and Mackery shows the way they do it. Whoa, I'm impressed. I gotta the switcher. I gotta meet this guy. Well, I said meet this guy, man. You know, I gotta. Just lay accolades on him because they have the best switch on it. Because there's like they have the toxic table, which is like two dudes, right? Then you have uh, you have AJ uh, Hawk, which is he's on usually on the screen, right? Except on Fridays when he comes in the studio, right? In the studio, and then studio you have Pat McAfee. The name uh, the show goes. Those are the regulars. Then you have well, then you have other regulars, but uh, uh, Darius Butler, uh, 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 Diba. He's he's he sits at a side table sometimes like two or three times a week. So at any time you have maybe five people that they switch back and forth, but they switch just when the person is talking. It's it's very difficult to do. I'm, I'm this is yeoman. This is I man. You have to be on all kinds of. You must have a you must have a like a twenty six cents or something like that. Whoever this switcher is, I don't know how they doing it, but they go when, when you're gonna say something, but they get the, then they have these the um, the, uh, the coaches come in, they do these little features, whatever. But they always switch. The switches is great. That's all I got to say. You you all don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying, you know, Pat McAfee show, they got the best switcher. That's all. No. I'm not impressed by it. I don't. I don't. In, in, in communications, a lot of stuff don't impress me, but that impressed me. So anyway, so today, mm. wow! I love coconut, coconut, coconut water. Uh, when I got in last night, I went and got uh, stopped by a food line right before it closed, and so I had to get a, an avocado. Make sure I have avocado here this morning. And another thing, another coconut water. I came back and I realized, oh, I have all these other coconut waters I had when I when I left <laughs> like three weeks ago. So, well, oh, I don't have to buy coconut water for the rest of the thing because you can stay in as long as you don't open it up. When you open it up, you got to drink it within five days. But then again, it's coconut water. You will drink it in five days. Anyway, um, so I got in last night, fudged around, watched a little bit, end of the game, um, the. the, the the Browns versus uh, Washington, and uh, who won? The Browns. The Browns lost. Did the Washington win? Somebody won. Yeah, I think the it was at at the Browns. Yeah, I think it was at, at the Browns. It's about the Browns. Not the Browns. I'm talking about Chicago. It's in Chicago versus Washington. Uh, Chicago Bears, and I think it was at Chicago, and I think they lost to Washington. I think so. Don't quote me on that. You know, because I'm following football anyway. So, so that happened. Then I'll tell you what's when, when I do the Instagram. Then we'll talk about what's happening with the uh, with the Insty. Let's see what else I did this morning. Like, so I just came back from my walk, and it's got sort of kind of late because we, well, I'll tell you what happened. Let's see uh, live. There we go. Okay, gonna hit it. Hold on. Got to get ready. Now that I got this, I got this green sweatshirt from uh, from my brother. But the, one of one of my other fraternity brothers had passed, Copeland, and and they went and got his stuff from his thing, whatever. And so I think it's belonged to him. It's a warm one, so it's a good, just in time. I can think just in time. Here we go. Just in time, I'm here just in time. Actually, oh, hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet. 
well, I'm actually a little bit late. Well, I did my morning walk, but usually I try to be, well, usually I try to get back a little earlier. But I shouldn't say that, but I left late. But the reason why I left later because I just got in last night, right? No, I woke up on time. In fact, I woke up just when blue light, just when first light, blue light was coming, you know, like a half hour before a sunrise. I woke up just at that particular point. Now, you know, usually I try to go out. Well, I guess I could give, to go out and walk, walk at that time, you know, in the, it was like a half hour before the sun comes up. And, um, you know, that's when I start my day. But um, my sister, she didn't, she usually, she's a night worker. She didn't work at night. But we had to, we wanted to book the tickets for me to get back to Africa and went the whole, the whole thing, you know, the round trip and, you know, like that. Because I got to go back. Got to go back. Got to go back. Want to go back to Africa. But I realized, here's the thing. I, I finally read it. Another, well, I reread the email uh, from waiting for my, my permit, my African, my, you know, my, my visa to come through. But it took, uh, they said it takes like 10 weeks from the time. <laughs> this is insane. So 10 weeks to be up in a couple of weeks. And so rather than me stay in New York, I came, but I didn't know that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Everything worked out well. So either they'll hold it, they'll hold it for me when I uh, get back up to New York in, uh, what, this is October, November, December is when I am traveling. So I had to travel through New York. So maybe I'll pick it up then or I'll, I'll just make a trip up to New York, take a train, take a train trip up to New York and get it because I just want that thing, make sure I got it right away. So I might go up there um, sometime uh, in November, maybe. I'll, I'll see what happens um, if, the, if the thing comes up. But I'll ask them, hey, can you hold a visa because I'm traveling and I'll see you all in you know, December when I travel some more because I'm, I'm, when I travel, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to, well, I made up my mind, I'm going to, I'm going, I'm going to St. Louis first. You know, whether my, see my, whatever, go to St. Louis, because I got to see Yaki. I got to stop by that thing and deal with, not deal with, but, but see what the operation is about. Maybe get an interview or two, get some, self, get some, get some selfies with the African hat, that kind of thing. And then I, then I'll go up to Chicago and uh, catch the train because I go, go on that train trip from Chicago to, uh, to Seattle, then go across. I, I booked to go to a, a little tour of, of Vancouver. So when you go over to Vancouver, but I'm taking that train ride. From Vancouver to Toronto. Ta-da! I've won that train ride. I've been listening, I've been listening, that's what we say, I've been listening for that train ride for a long time. Anyway, so so that said, I'm just waiting for a friend in uh, up in Toronto whether I'm gonna stay at their place, you know, for uh, you know, for a few days, you know, visit them, whatever have you. If not, uh, either way, uh, when I'm through with them, whatever time I'm through with that, I'll take the train from Toronto down to Back down to, well, to to Virginia, I might stop in New York for a second, you know, to take it down to Virginia, right? Then um, on, uh, we booked this thing. Uh, my sister, we booked it just now. I go, I leave for Cape Town on the 11th, uh, out of New York on the 11th of uh, January. I hope the thing goes through right now. It's pending. 11th of January, so I'll be in Cape Town on the 12th. So Cape Town, 12th, the 12th of January, I'll be back. So Southern Africa, I'll be back. <laughs> and depending on what happens, see how long, whatever. Uh, so I should there until, well, I'll tell you that some other time. So that's what happened this morning. That's why it took me, I went out a little late. So I got back at 11 here, like that. So so that's the big news. Um, my flight is booked. I'm going back to, to, uh, 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 to uh, what's the name, the... Uh, to Qatar Airways. Some people say Qatar. I don't always say Qatar. I don't like to say Qatar. I say Qatar, Qatar. You know, go to Doha. I used to do that all the time. And sometimes I would take Emirates, you know. Then then I have been taking Kenya Air, but I actually like to take Kenya Air, but they're not on this plan. What's the plan? Here's the thing. Here's the one I tell you. I'm going I'm to leave you with this, perhaps. So we booked the flight, right? And we say, we booked, well, why, you know, why don't you stay? Well, you know, the flight, the cheapest flight through something where, where you take British Airway, and the round trip was seven hundred some some odd dollars, but you had to change airports in 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 England. You know, you you fly into one airport, then you like, get to another. It was kind of strange, right? But I'm doing this because, uh, well, anyway, that, that that was the uh, traveling on on that was when I was going to travel on New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, right? I, like I want to be up in the air, you know. New Year's. I did that one time, the first time I traveled to Guatemala. Uh, uh, I, I was in the air on New Year's New Year's Eve. I like things like that. So anyway, so uh, 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 so we because my sister uses her points for her 
her credit card because she don't travel like that. And she used, you know, you use the credit card for your gas and you build up points, build up points. So she used the points for me for the, for the airfare. Now, guess how much a round trip ticket from this, from, from, from JFK to Cape Town and then return from uh, basically Cape Town is going to be, I'm returning on uh, uh, July, July 2nd. I like to find my birthday. Somebody think July 2nd, in July, right? So the round trip ticket from 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 the States to, to Cape Town and then back from Cape Town to the States to JFK, right? Round trip now, right? Because she's using her, her mileage or whatever mileage you build up, right? Okay. Forty-seven dollars. Forty-seven bucks. You heard me. Four three dollars, four three American dollars. Get me a round trip ticket. That's all I pay my sister. <laughs> to, I think she's been saying, "Oh, I pay for it." But I, I, look, when we, my relationship with my sister, I don't take money from her, or whatever have you know, whatever. I I pay her everything like that. I mean, I I have very little money, but I pay her. Well, I stay here, whatever. But even my own, I buy my own food and all this. But you know, the whole thing. But the point is, forty-seven dollars round trip to Southern Africa and back, because she got the, the the advantage, whatever, just whoever advantage, whatever. So if you have friends and use credit card, and they don't travel a lot, right? Ask them to buy you a ticket to whatever, whatever, whatever. and it's gonna be well, it's gonna be what it is. They book way ahead of time. Now, I think what happens though, I think they they have only have a certain amount of a lot of tickets on on each. Plane, so you got to book in enough time. You know, otherwise, that's oh, you can't take that route that day. You got to do another day. You know, they they fit you in, and you know, And since I fly coach anyway, it don't matter. You know what I mean? I, 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 look, it's fine. I've been doing this a, a long time. I'm not. I'm, I'm cool with a lot of people, right? In fact, I don't know about business class or even first class. I flew first class one time, long time ago with, with Beatrice. Beatrice put, put me first class. We were coming back from Mexico to New, to New York. Anyway. Um, I'm not really into first class, but you're sort of in first class as well as business class. You're so isolated. A person like me, I'm a people person. I hang with, I, I'm with the downtrod. I'm with the poor folk, right? Like that. So, so people, I actually like being around people. So, what about disease? Whatever. Look, I have a great immune system, right? I don't have, I don't get, you know, <laughs> the air, the recycled air, any of that stuff, you know, don't bother me at all. Don't bother me at all. Air, airline food, I don't really eat this stuff. You know what I mean? It's like, eh, like that. Not enough bathrooms. Well, you got it. You got it. My point is this: <laughs> I like to be around people. So I like to be with the masses, <laughs> with the downtrodden. So that's how I roll, man. If you try to get me on a private plane, okay, I would fly. If I do a private plane because of some sort of business, I don't know. Whatever it is, I don't know why I would be on a private jet or something like whatever it is. But as far as finding these long flights, because you know you have a stopover, I like to do it that way. I have. That's just the way I roll. No, can I say? But 40s, I'm bowled over. $47. Wow. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to go. I'm going to let you go. You be well. All right? Good news, though. Ooh, I, oh, but I, I had a really good time. Man, I'm so fortunate. But some other time, it took, no, let me say it right now. No, nah, I'm so fortunate. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Okay, so that's done. Uh, so now I do share. And uh, uh, I'm going to put round trip South African fare. The brother, let's see, the brother is shocked. Oh, CK, shocked. Oh, about? I say shocked about? Oh, okay, about. The round trip, oh, you and round trip fair price from no, no, I just put fair, fair price. To South Africa, to Southern Africa. I like to say Southern Africa rather than South Africa. Uh, I don't know why. Price. Price for. For. For Southern Africa. Is. Oh, you. Gee. 
page, Southern Africa. Boom. Like that. I'm not going to tag anybody. Air location, Chesapeake. The, oh, Western Branch, Virginia. I'll put Western Branch up with Chesapeake. I'll put Western Branch. Western Branch, Virginia. Add to series. Um, this series is going to be, oh, still morning. Should I do morning? Uh, in the morning. Ah, do it in the morning. And that series, boom. And then I'll hit it. Ding, let it go. Now what will happen is that'll go up. I won't do anything else on it until I post to I post this on my YouTube. We get picked up by BitChute. Then I take the BitChute URL and post it on the comment section of this thing. I use that it's, it's because I want to give BitChute some some play. You know what I mean? That's what I want to do. That's why I do it that way, right? But uh, I mean, you know, when I think about it, you know, I gotta go. Now I gotta get a a a, a green a green uh, head wrap head scarf to go with this color thing. I got to shop today. I'm going to have a lot of shopping to do because uh, I start Yaki Protocol tonight. I think I do. I have to see what happens. I think I start, start, start Yaki Protocol tonight. I got to read the instructions, you know, see how long you got to let this stuff, maybe, maybe, maybe whole 24 hours you got to, I don't know. I have to go, go check it out. Let me not speak too soon, right? Uh, put this back in. Okay, that's it. Um, I'm going to go. I'll see you all later. Uh, but I'm but New York again, man. I had a the last few days in New York was so good, man. Here's what I I found out, and I should do this on a should do this on a well. Here's what I found out. A lot of things happen, right? But I'm a very difficult person to deal with. Not just New Yorker, but I'm just I mean I'm just difficult. Let's just put it that way. Um, and um, but there's few there's very few people who, who I don't say get me but you know a lot of times people get jealous or they get not intimidated I don't say intimidated but they get jealous they get and I don't I'm just a humble I mean I don't have nothing you know all I have is my mouth but the last few times I, I, there's people I can talk to people I can't talk to people I enjoy talking to right so like uh, like my fraternity brother uh, Dr. James Conyer now we can you know because we you know we can do like that right um, and there's other people that you know, I have to sit and just, I can't be me, me, me around them. I am me, but I mean, I, I, I'm also sort of sensitive. I'm going like, okay, these folks don't know what's going on. They might think of whatever, whatever, whatever. So I have to be one thing. When I was talking to, uh, I love talking to Danny Dawson. I call back up. I mean, I'm, I'm, I had to spend a lot of, more time with Danny. I got to sit down and talk to him. Just, I just like talking to Danny Dawson. Um, he's a big time uh, professor. Professor, a scholar uh, uh, on matters of mainly Brazil, uh, uh, culture matters, a photographer. He's just a, a wonderful person. He's in, and he's in the late seventies now. Well, you know, but you know, I'm concerned about his health. You know, so but all everybody my age concerned people's health. That, but then now then I had to buy. I bought some books from John Mason because I'm I'm doing this thing um, exploring my whole lagoon, but just more of the Orisha stuff. Just as a this a thing. I know John is like, <laughs> let me say, he's intimidating. He's, he's, he's just intimidating. He's, in, in, he's, he's, he's in, a, he intimidates the intimidators. He's a, I don't know, he's just, a, he's an intimidating person. A lot of people can't deal with him, but I'm a child of a guru. But he's a diviner too. I mean, he could read you. He, he told me, he told me, he said, he, he went into the culture, to Yoruba culture uh, for divination because he was, div he, he was a diviner before <laughs> before he was in the culture. So he, he did it just to get the bona fides, you know, to, to get the, 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 the whatever to be official, right? But he's a scholar, a real scholar. I mean, he may take him 10 years to write a book, you know? I mean, the two biggest scholars I know are, I mean, that's really scholarship would be Gerald Horn and, uh, well, historians like Gerald Horn, uh, Dr. James Conyer, I like to say, uh, 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 Danny doesn't really publish, you know what I mean? But, uh, uh, but John Mason publishes, right? So I'm talking about, but he's, he's a, he has a certain era. He's the same. He's only like, he's only like a year older than I am, but he, you know, everybody defers. He's like, he's like, he was like Arthur, Arthur Francis, he passed up, peace and place on his show. He, John Mason had been an old man back when he was an old man. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just the way it is, right? When those old people say, this is just an old person, right? Then he just, he continues whatever it is. And so, so he was, I had a great time talking to him. And you know, I, I just, some, some stuff that did, that wasn't quite, but, and he gets, he gets upset real quick. He's talking about cantankerous. Poof. 
whatever like that. Anyway, I'm not talking out of school. Everybody, everybody knew John Mace. You know what I'm talking about. He's very hard. You know, he has his rules. You know what I mean? Just for him to have me over his house <laughs> was a big thing. Believe me, it's a big thing. Not everybody can get to John Mason. Anyways, but I got to get back to because he, he has these uh, Yoruba uh, cards, like what's, I'm going to say playing cards, but cards. And I really got to get a, a pack of them, but you got to order it like a month in advance. I got to figure out when I'm going to come through New York and, and get that. Um, maybe, well, I'll see what happens. Get that right there. But then the creme de la creme, the, the, the icing on the cake was when I got to talk to Errol. I hadn't seen Errol in a long time. I hadn't been around him either like that. But Errol was one of those people like between like Errol, um, uh, my, my fraternity brother, um, uh, James Kanye and Grayson, those people, those are the people I can really, well, it's send away Steve, Steve who wins the DVD place like, like that, same way. Like, I can just, I can just hammer, I can just be myself. I'm, you know, and they, they, they don't give a quarter, I don't give a quarter, we battling back and forth, but I, I man, I I didn't realize how much I miss Errol. I really, 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 there's certain people I really appreciate. I haven't really appreciated I ain't seen Errol, Errol in years. Last time I was up there, I did. I saw him for a second in the in the park, went to Central Park, and we talked about the height of COVID when I was stuck right of it. But I haven't. So we had a time where, where we we did a couple, we did the thing on camera, uh, like that was, a, it was a, for me it was great. And if, and if I analyze it, it was perfect. You know what I mean? It's like an hour. I talked to him for an hour. He was talking about certain things, and I got to do that again because there's certain people, especially in New York. He's a New Yorker too, but New Yorkers, you know, we could talk over each other. That's why I, I talked to my sister. We we could talk over each other like that. They don't take anything really personal. If I mean a real, real New Yorker. Anyway, I've been talking way too long right now, so let me let y'all go. Uh, I'll check you another time. Maybe I maybe next time I do a, a making of or whatever it is. But I I got my new set. I got my, I, I, I do these uh, uh, Instagram things out here, and then sometimes I'm in a car. Or something whenever I might do an Instagram like that. But uh, I got to build up. Um, uh, today's Friday, yeah, because I got to do my gullah reading and put it up. Yeah, put that up, and then tomorrow Saturday gullah reading, and then uh, the, the um, on Sunday Sunday services. I got to work with my set inside. That's it. Look, I'm talking to myself, not to you. All right? Y'all take care. Be well.